Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product. This is the GymTab M18 1080p native resolution LED media projector. You can check it out on Amazon. At the time of this review, it goes for about $240, a little bit less now that they're running a coupon special, so it's closer to that $200 range, which is really good for a native 1080p LED projector. So let's dig into this real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at what comes in the box. Obviously, you get the main unit. It is a little bit on the large side, but it is a pretty powerful projector. You get this user manual for the M18. It is well laid out, and it's also, uh, the print on it isn't too small, so it's easy to read. Here, they also list all the specifications. Some of the highlights are that native 1080p resolution, a contrast ratio of 5,000 to one, which is very nice, and it does have 4,500 lumens and 50,000 hours on the LED lamp. If you need to uh, check this out in more detail, I'll have it listed below, or you can pause the video here and check it out for yourself. Moving along, we do have a three-prong power plug here. This is uh, to uh, plug in your projector, of course, and it's a heavy-duty cable, which I really like. And also, we get a, a universal remote control here that gives you all the functions that you may need. Plus, we have a legacy AV cable here, and they do include an HDMI cable as well. So let's take a look at the unit itself. You can see up front here, we've got this nice big glass lens here that is very nice. Also, an uh, LED uh, input there for your remote control if you're going to be pointing it that way. If we move it to this side, we do have some nice venting. We also have a full SD card slot, an AV input, and a 3.5 millimeter output for headphones or external speakers. Now the speakers on this are really, really nice, which you're gonna hear in just a second. On the back, we've got a fan, your power input. You do have a legacy VGA input as well, LED port. And then of course you have two USB inputs there and two HDMI inputs as well. So you've got uh, a lot of inputs here that uh, should cover most devices that you'll hook up. I'm gonna hook up my PlayStation 4 and we'll check it out. On the other side here, we just got a little bit of venting down at the bottom. And then let's take a look at the button layout on the GymTab M18. You can see you can do all of the things that you need to do right from the buttons here. Of course, you have that included remote as well, so that should be pretty easy. Now at the top, you're gonna to see that we have two rings here, one for focus and one for up to 15 degrees of keystone. So you've got that all set up. Okay, on the bottom, you've got a leveler here and you've also got four uh, screw holes here for a mounting bracket so that if you wanna mount this upside down or you wanna mount it to the ceiling, you can easily do that with this unit. Uh, the leveler works very, very well. Like most levelers, you can level it out so that when you set it down, you get the right angle for wherever you're going to project onto, say a wall or a canvas or whatever you're going to use. Okay, you can see this is the main screen here and the M18 does a great job at brightness. I really like how bright this is. Uh, you can see that the 4500 lumens works really, really well. Uh, you've got four main categories, movies, music, uh, photos, and text. This is kind of a similar layout to a lot of projectors out there. So nothing insanely crazy or new with the layout of the uh, menu. Now, if you go into the menu here and we can check our settings, you do have picture settings here where you can adjust your aspect ratio, your color temperature. Uh, you can do other things such as um, the direction that it's displayed uh, as well. So if you're gonna mount this upside down on the ceiling, wherever you're gonna go, you can go to uh, your display mode here and you can do front on desk. And as you can see, we can cycle through uh, different ones to make sure we have the orientation correct. So that's a, a big bonus and something that a lot of people will do if they're doing this for a home theater.
Now, if we move on over to sound, you have things like balance. You can also uh, do your sound in different hertz here. Uh, so we've got uh, up to uh, 320 hertz. Uh, so you can switch that out. You can also sw switch your auto volume. You've got a, a timer, a sleep timer from 10 minutes to 90 minutes. So if you want it to turn off, you can do that as well. Uh, you've got your OSD language, uh, updating your firmware, and of course, other things uh, here uh, that you'll have, which are pretty normal, again, for this menu. Okay, so here I've got my PS4 hooked up, and as you can see, it's a very crystal clear picture on this. Uh, I really like, again, what they've done. Uh, nice colors on this, very bright, uh, 1080p native resolution. My PS4 works perfect with this, no problems whatsoever. So let's launch The Last of Us Remastered. Uh, the new one's coming out this year. I hope you guys are hyped for that. I am going to be pretty hyped for that myself. Uh, so we will uh, check out some of this. So as you can hear, the speakers on this are really, really good. So you probably won't even have to hook up any external speakers to it. They get really, really loud. Uh, so And they overtake the sound of the internal fan on the unit. Overall, a very, very nice by GymTab, the M18 media projector. That native 1080p resolution just makes consoles like the PS4 and the Xbox One really pop, as you can see. Overall, I'm uh, pretty happy with this, and I'm definitely giving this a thumbs up. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on the GymTab M18 1080p native LED projector? This is a great projector for media consumption. If you're going to use consoles, it's great for gaming because of that 1080p native resolution. Now, the only caveat that I have with this pr projector is the price point, but that's going to be what you're going to have to pay to get a native 1080p projector versus that normal 640 by 480 sub 100 or around $100 price that you see uh, out there now. Now, in my opinion, is it worth the extra hundred or so dollars to get that native 1080p? Yes, it definitely is, but that's just my opinion, of course. That bump in resolution really, really pops and makes everything look a lot better than those lower resolution projectors. Now, it's got plenty of inputs on it, dual USB, dual HDMI. The fan noise is there, but the shining thing on this besides the picture has got to be the sound quality on this. This has some of the best sound quality on a projector that I've tested to date, and it really kind of negates the fan noise that you're going to hear from the unit. The unit is a little bit bulky, but it does have a lot of cooling to it, and overall, I'm pretty happy with what GymTab has put together with the M18. This is a solid projector that I think you guys should check out if you're looking to get into a projector that does native 1080p. 
This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you guys have any questions or comments about the M18 LEG projector, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you guys have not subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.